Have you ever watched Interstellar and thought, wait, could that actually happen? In Christopher Nolan's Interstellar, Earth is on the brink of collapse. Climate disasters, failing crops, and deadly dust storms threaten humanity's survival. Enter Cooper, a former NASA pilot turned farmer, who stumbles upon a secret NASA project aimed at saving mankind. Cooper joins a mission to travel through a mysterious wormhole near Saturn, leading to distant planets orbiting a supermassive black hole named Gargantua. The goal? Find a new home for humanity before it's too late. But as the crew ventures into the unknown, they encounter mind-bending phenomena like time dilation, intense gravity, and the very real dangers of deep space. The idea that one hour near a black hole equals seven years on Earth sounds like pure Hollywood magic. But shockingly, it's grounded in real physics. Today, we're diving deep into the science behind Interstellar and asking if time dilation, wormholes, and surviving near a black hole are just fiction or fact. Let's start with time dilation, the mind-bending concept at the heart of the movie. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity doesn't just pull on objects, it bends space and time itself. The stronger the gravitational pull, the slower time moves for someone near that source. In Interstellar, this is brilliantly shown when Cooper and the crew land on Miller's planet, orbiting dangerously close to the supermassive black hole Gargantua. They spend just a few hours on the surface, but when they return to their ship, they discover that 23 years have passed for their colleague waiting above. This isn't just science fiction. We've confirmed time dilation through experiments and observations. For example, GPS satellites orbiting the Earth have to account for time moving slightly faster for them than for people on the ground. Without correcting for this effect, GPS navigation would become wildly inaccurate within hours. On the International Space Station, astronauts experience time moving ever so slightly slower compared to people on Earth, due to both their speed and the gravitational effects. So, if you got close enough to an incredibly massive object like a supermassive black hole, time would slow down dramatically for you while years pass elsewhere. In Interstellar, this concept isn't just a plot device, it's based on real science. That brings us to Gargantua, the black hole in Interstellar. Unlike most movie black holes, which are portrayed with artistic license, Gargantua was designed with input from Nobel Prize winning physicist Kip Thorne. Thorne worked directly with Christopher Nolan and the visual effects team, running real equations based on Einstein's theories. The result? the most scientifically accurate black hole ever depicted on film. Gargantua is a supermassive black hole, spinning at nearly the speed of light. This spin causes a phenomenon called frame dragging, where space and time are twisted around the black hole. This rotation is key. The faster a black hole spins, the closer an object can orbit without being pulled past the event horizon, the point of no return. So, could one hour near Gargantua equal seven years back on Earth? Thorne's calculations say, yes, it's theoretically possible if the black hole is massive enough and spinning fast enough. The gravitational field would be so intense that time for someone near the black hole would slow to a crawl relative to someone far away. But there's a catch. To achieve this, you'd have to be in a very precise orbit, known as the innermost stable circular orbit, ISCO, right on the edge of the event horizon. Any closer, and you'd be pulled in and crushed by gravity. Plus, the tidal forces, the stretching effect caused by the difference in gravity between your head and your feet, would be unimaginably strong. In reality, surviving such a trip would be impossible, unless you had some serious plot armor like Cooper and his team. Next up, wormholes. In Interstellar, a wormhole conveniently appears near Saturn, offering a shortcut to a distant galaxy. It's what allows Cooper and his crew to travel across unimaginable distances in a matter of moments. But are wormholes real? Wormholes are a legitimate solution to Einstein's equations of general relativity. Known as Einstein-Rosen bridges, they're theoretical passages through space-time that could connect distant points in the universe. Think of folding a piece of paper and poking a hole through it. The hole becomes a shortcut between two points that would otherwise be far apart. But here's the problem. We've never observed a wormhole. And even if they exist, keeping one stable would require negative energy a form of exotic matter that might not even exist in usable quantities. There are also serious concerns about their stability. 
Wormholes could collapse instantly or be incredibly unstable without some form of advanced technology to keep them open. So, could humans ever use a wormhole to travel across galaxies like in Interstellar? For now, it's purely theoretical. But the concept remains scientifically plausible in the realm of exotic physics. Even if time dilation and wormholes are theoretically possible, could humans survive the journey? Approaching a black hole means facing several deadly threats. First, there's spaghettification. Yes, that's a real scientific term. This occurs because gravity near a black hole is so intense that it creates a massive difference in gravitational pull between the closest and farthest parts of your body. The result? You'd be stretched into a long, thin strand of matter. Then there's the intense radiation emitted by the accretion disk, the swirling ring of superheated matter spiraling into the black hole. This radiation would fry any spacecraft long before it got close enough to experience significant time dilation. Not to mention the gravitational forces themselves, which could rip a spacecraft apart. So while time dilation near a black hole is scientifically valid, the idea of landing on a planet like Miller's planet in Interstellar is pure science fiction. If you're fascinated by how movies like Interstellar mix real science with incredible storytelling, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We break down the facts behind fiction and explore the wildest ideas science has to offer. Stay curious with AI Talks. Now, back to the action. Interstellar stands out among science fiction films for its commitment to scientific accuracy, at least in some areas. Kip Thorne ensured that the portrayal of time dilation, the black hole's appearance, and the concept of wormholes were based on real physics. The depiction of Gargantua was so detailed and accurate that it led to new scientific insights into gravitational lensing, how light bends around massive objects. However, the film does take liberties. For example, the survivability of humans on a planet so close to a black hole is highly unrealistic. The notion of a wormhole appearing near Saturn without causing massive gravitational disturbances is also a stretch. And the idea of a tesseract inside a black hole, representing higher dimensional beings and the manipulation of gravity to send messages back in time, well, that ventures firmly into speculative fiction. But that's okay. Science fiction is allowed to dream. And sometimes those dreams inspire real scientific breakthroughs. Science fiction like Interstellar plays a critical role in inspiring curiosity and scientific inquiry. Many scientists, engineers, and explorers cite science fiction as a major influence on their careers. By imagining the impossible, we push the boundaries of what's possible. Interstellar didn't just entertain. It sparked conversations about time, space, and the nature of our universe. It made people ask, could this really happen? And that's the first step toward discovery. So, could Interstellar really happen? Parts of it? Yes. Time dilation is a proven phenomenon. Wormholes are mathematically possible, though unproven. Black holes behave largely as depicted, thanks to the work of Kip Thorne and other physicists. But the human adventure part, surviving close encounters with black holes and traversing wormholes, remains in the realm of fiction. Still, Interstellar gave us a glimpse of what might one day be possible, and it reminded us that the universe is stranger and more fascinating than we can imagine. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want more explorations of science in pop culture, make sure to subscribe. Stay curious.